Right. I'm gonna look down the bulkhead. Look down that darkened area. But do my detect. I mean, you're not gonna really. Yeah. If there was anything in there, I would see it with my. Ding ding. Oh, I didn't know you had you had anything like that. My the glowing red eyes. You didn't... I was just assuming that was thermal. It's not just thermal. It's also sonic. It's radar. Um, it's it's more advanced. Basically, every sort of advanced sensor that you can think of are all miniaturized and put into my eyes. Oh, neat. So, C2, you notice a hollow projector. Oh, look. It's one of the last few things that's still active. You see a man... Wait, mm. hollow projector or a little one? It's like built into the ship. Yeah. Okay. I'll walk over there. So. Hey, I three, who's this dude? Oh, that's the captain. Yeah. Is it, from his state, does it seem like this is post crash or pre crash? Um. Well, that's a It looks like it's as it's crashing. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Oh, mid crash. Yeah. <laughs> Pilots and engineers desperately try to regain control of the ship as it plummets towards Cholgana's surface, their faces contorted in fear and desperation. Pacing back and forth is a young Captain Harsel, who barks orders from the bridge. At, the, at his side, a white-haired Arcanian woman looks at, on in despair, bracing herself for the impending impact. Harsel stops without warning, shouts one last command, then pulls the woman to the floor for cover. As she falls, you see the stark white eyes grow wide with terror. Suddenly, the playback scrambles and cuts out. Hmm. Who is she? <laughs> hmm. Apparently, that's where it ends. I don't know why. Why do these things always stop recording <laughs> on impact? You, you because of think... power disruption? No. Well, that didn't stop the, the recording. You see a light flash through the USB? Hey, find anything? Talon, you're here. Of course. Yeah. Um. Oh, is that when you finally? No, I think he's still in his ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was saying, did they find anything? We found uh, a hollow projector. I'm going to uh, copy the the, the last message yeah. and all that. And I think we'll. I think I'll do the same. I'm gonna send it over to Talon. I need you to, to cross-reference that uh, with the both the Imperial and the uh, HUT at databases. See if we can get a face match on that Arcanian. That, that doesn't look good at all, everything that happened in that recording. Well, given the state of everything... And given there are no bodies in here. Which, wait a minute. How is this thing getting power? This? That's the only thing getting power in the ship, actually. Yeah. Which, 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 my character's thinking, this thing has been, this place has been down for a while, for years. So how was this thing? How did this thing just get power? Oh, you see me walk. You see the ship turn around. Um, as I walk to the edge of it, it's possible that someone wanted that message to be seen. Yeah. Some. So they rewired wired the, the power, the remaining power in this section to this to this terminal. Yeah, but where is the power being generated? Well, there. This is a large ship. There are power generators all over the place. You can probably tap into any one of them and get some juice out of it. Also, well, these ships are equipped with with energy storage. Oh. It's necessary. It's necessary to keep the droids running. Yeah, but again, it's been so long. Shouldn't most of that have been depleted? Not to run a terminal this small. Mm -hmm. If it's just the one terminal, well. A ship's power can last for a decade, even. Sure, but I was, I'm also factoring in possible damage from the crash. Are there any old blood stains? That is a good question. Nope. There aren't any? Nope. Hmm. From what I can tell using my hey, detective, what I dubbed the detective mode, is that. Nothing, no one died, well, either 
Yeah, everyone, At least in this part. <laughs> yeah, uh, everyone in this is the place that died has been cleaned up, by, was cleaned up by the survivors, leaving no trace behind, or eh, they didn't die in this part of the ship. So they died, had to have died after the crash. Even still, for no blood stains at all. This you, would is, th you would think with a dramatic crash like that, there would be some injuries, so some blood around. No, no. Crashes like this happen all the time. The bridges of ships are relatively high right, from the uh, keel of the ships. So you, so crashing the keel of a ship into on the ground wouldn't necessarily do much to the people on the bridge. It would be jarring, of course. And if you're not properly held down, you could go flying out the um, um, on the window. So, but other than that, can I actually can I examine the what the windows? Uh, yeah. Is the metal gating still there? Um, I believe so. What part's that? Just remind me, the metal gating. Oh, remember in episode 3 when they crashed the ship? The mm -hmm. metal gating comes over the windows so that when they crash... Oh, auto uh, the yeah, the automatic shutter. shutter. Uh, mm, no. It's not there? It's not deployed? It, has, it wasn't deployed. It's, in the sh it's still, like, in the ship. It just didn't. Fascinating. The shutters didn't deploy. And yet... What? Why would the shutters not deploy? They were in an emergency crash situation, unless they were trying to guide the ship down visually. But even still, isn't it an automatic safety feature? No, it can be disabled at any point. Yeah. Also, wouldn't it? Doesn't it usually only go off if it's like in space? Yeah, it's for um, it's but mainly to stop people from you know going out in the vacuum. Yeah. yeah. From the but the pressure. Why wouldn't it be activated for something like this? If the windows would have broken on impact. Yeah, but again, it pro the ship could have detected it was within atmosphere, so not deployed it to allow people to get out. Or it could be that if they, if they either they were sabotaged or they kind of, or they were trying to guide the ship down visually because the navigation was down. Maybe this. Maybe this wasn't a crash, or at least it wasn't shot down. Hmm. You think foul play is in order? Well, Possibly. Was Especially it? with organics on the... Crew. Was it murder? This wouldn't be murder. Maybe Especially we should... With organics it would be, on the crew. Uh, Especially with organic crew members. What's your deploying vigilance? The vigilance? Deploying the bulkhead would be, ne Too great. would be necessary to ensure their survival. After they would hit the bulkhead instead of flying out. You what's would your vigilance? Would it have been a good idea to check the engines then? So after we check the bridge out, we'll go back and check the engines. Uh, we're oh, vigilance, uh, two green. Okay. What's your vigilance? Because you're there, right? At yeah. this point, yeah. Still on the ship, but... Bye. Okay. I already rolled your stuff. Let's see. I have four. Actually, six, five. Oh, that's right. So I gave him extra willpower. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming uh, robot is the same as you, or less. No, it will be the same as the... As see a little black? No. It will probably be less. It will probably be... It will uh, probably be, like, one. I will probably... I guess... I guess you would. It would probably be two since I just have them. They see well. Okay. This is interesting. Uh oh. With a vicious roar, a blur of metal and fur erupts from the darkness of the wreckage. Four-legged creatures, all teeth and claws, leap at you. In a split second, you realize they are powerful Nexu. Worse, they appear to be cybernetically enhanced. All sport metal reinforced claws and some sort of armored helmet or cap and collar. What the hell? The claws of one Nexu crackle with white-blue energy against the ground as it lands after each leap. Another flashes a radiant grin with polished metal teeth. 
the last and largest appears to have had its prehensile double tail plated and interlocking scale armor that termin that terminates in a spiked club on each tail end. Uh, scorched earth. And they get to go first because they ambushed all of you. Oh, oh damn. no! <laughs> Wait, all of us failed vigilance. Quick draw. Yep. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I believe I, yep, I have quick draw. I think I would actually be the first one to see something. I'm looking in that direction. And and they, I even gave them a, uh, I even gave them a setback because you guys were expecting creatures to be in the ship. So quick draw. <laughs> I trust you to deal with this. <laughs> There's no meat on my bones. My non-existent bones. You can fly close, we get off, we go, I go to my ship, we get off plane, you just go scorched earth. I don't have a capital ship, I can't scorch the planet. <laughs> no, just scorch earth on the side. I can always, he's calling the ten numbers. All right, and well, I think I can do minimal, numbers. I can do minimal controlling to my ship. I have a hey, fear check is against cool, right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, because you all have to make fear checks. <laughs> Alright, so that goes before the quick draw, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Both of my characters should be okay. Two green. Three green. Five green, three yellow, two green. Oh. 